Good morning, I'm Earth Dr. Reese Halter, and you're listening to EarthCast, SOS.com. Last Wednesday, Typhoon Ita barreled into Japan. Torrential flooding overwhelmed damaged pumps from crippled number one nuclear reactor at the Fukushima nuclear plant, and hundreds of tons of radioactive contamination bled into the Pacific Ocean. Let me remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that what we do to our oceans, we do to ourselves. OMG! In the meantime, Typhoon Itau swept 82 bags to sea. Those bags were believed to contain radioactive grass and other contaminated materials collected at or around the smoldering number one nuclear reactor. Apparently, 30 bags have been recovered, so 52 are at sea. Good grief. As if all this were distressing enough, and by the way, I'm fracking choked on this, In August, Fukushima Fishing Cooperative officially admitted that Tokyo Electric Power Company would begin discharging highly contaminated groundwater to sea in September. Cesium-134 and 137 and iodine-131. Ain't that a peach? Not. And for those that might have forgot, well, I sounded the alarm bell a couple months after the 11th of March 2011, the tsunami. Because the sprinters of the sea, the bluefin tunas that move through the water like sleek torpedoes, 46 knots is an average speed with a top end of 55 knots. Only sailfish are faster at 59 knots. Bluefin tuna turned up off Southern Cali after crossing the Pacific Ocean on May 28, 2011 with radioactive cesnium 10 times higher than the previous year. So the Pacific Ocean was contaminated in 2011, and it's continuing to be contaminated today. Clearly, it's time for all countries to come together and solve Tokyo Electric Power Company's problem, because the oceans belong to all of us, and they are in dire jeopardy of becoming more toxic which means more sick whales, dolphins, sharks, sea turtles, and so many thousands of other sea creatures. Hello, is anyone home? Hashtag love is the solution. Please reduce your fossil fuel footprint and support the okraproject.org because they're making EarthCast SOS possible. I'm Earth Doctor, Reese Halter, reminding you to protect our planet.